PUBG Mobile. Holy, well, this has gone a totally different direction than I uh, first anticipated. So I'm, I'm excited. The year is 2022, and this is a Blackberry. But are we black ready? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to another Honest Unboxing. Today, we're having a look at the Blackberry Passport of all phones. It's called that because it is, of course, the same size as your regulation uh, passport. How about that? Someone thought that a phone the size of a small booklet would be a good idea before Microsoft said it'd be a good idea. And well, so far it hasn't worked out in either case, but we're gonna go back in time to see if, uh, well, if this even works in the year 2022. I saw this bad boy in the second hand shop here in Romania. Who is this lady you have shrunk? Was she the owner of this house? It was around 160 Australian dollars or 116 American, around there. So I'm excited to get into this bad boy, but of course, uh, money doesn't grow on trees, it does grow on sponsors. So big shout out to the ones that made this video possible, NordVPN. Ah, Romania. It's a good country if you want a wide variety of pork lunches, pork dinners, or pork dessert. But sometimes the Netflix variety leaves me a little wanting, and I miss the shows I could get back down under. Well, with NordVPN, that's no worries, as I can easily connect to their servers from all around the world and enjoy video streaming from Australia, the UK, or even Romania. But through Nord, just for fun. And fun it is, enjoying a world full of entertainment made possible by NordVPN. Get a big discount today with the promo code SAMTIMEVPN and get one month free on a two-year plan with the link in the description. Remember the code word, SAMTIMEVPN. Booyah! Quick tour around the device. You do have metal sides. This might be stainless steel. It might be aluminium. Either way, it feels classy. Of course, being the size of a house, we can fit in a headphone jack. If you want to swap out your SIM cards and stuff, you just gingerly pop off this plastic uh, cover, which has your SD card slot and your SIM card slot right there. Plenty of slots. Oh yeah, don't mind me, but the back of this does feel quite smooth and and rubbery. You, you don't mind putting this on a table, you know? It, it, it can handle it. And that's what modern phones don't do nowadays. Again, with the classic. I dropped this classic on the concrete and it just got a scuff. It just got a little scuff. You did that to an iPhone, I did that to my iPhone 6, and it, it blew up, it exploded on the spot. Anyway, let's turn her on. You can do this just by swiping up, uh, in theory. So I've been cold, there we go. Unfortunately, BlackBerry has shut down all of their old servers and services that used to work with BlackBerry, so a lot of things don't work on it anymore. One being BBM. Let's see, when you try to sign in, it just says it requires a network connection, but it is connected to the network, it's just not connected to the BlackBerry network, because it doesn't exist anymore. It's like Skynet, it's gone offline, we need the Terminator to go back to 1985, or whenever these things were popular, and to tell BlackBerry to turn the servers back on. Things that do work are text messages. I have tried that and let me tell you, this keyboard is a dream because not only can you type on it, which is what most keyboards do, but all of these keys on the QWERTY keyboard have become one long giant nipple. So you can actually swish, swish, swish across. And in fact, while we're here, have a look at YouTube. Let's see if YouTube works. Oh, and there I am right there. What a perfect video to show up. And see, you can scroll, you can scroll like this. Can it still play YouTube? I think it can. Beautiful. And then you can just squish it down if you want to squish it down to um, to see the whole picture. A bonus, this little side button in the middle, that pauses your media. Oh, 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 why doesn't the iPhone have that? Probably Blackberry have um, copyrighted that. They, they, ha they have copyrighted their keyboards naturally. Someone tried to release a keyboard for the iPhone before they got taken out of business because Blackberry sued him. Blackberry's like, no, if we can't be successful with a keyboard, nobody can. So they're a little spiteful, but that's okay. Well done, Blackberry. One thing you won't be getting is apps, or at least native apps, because again, all the Blackberry services are down. You click on the Blackberry world, it says there's no network connection, but there is. Because this Blackberry runs on, it's BB10 technically, but has some sort of Android in there. It can run some Android 4. Point one apps. Oh, here you go. Your device is running Android 4. What's it up to 13 now? So a few generations back. So there's not going to be too much that's going to be compatible 
with your BlackBerry. We should probably try one though. Oh, PUBG. This is interesting. Install, thank you. All right, let's see if we can get PUBG working on the uh, BlackBerry Passport. Yeehaw. Okay, so while that's downloading, hopefully it can do that in the background. It, it, it thinks it can do things in the background, so hopefully it does. I believe this has 32 gigabytes of internal storage, but as you saw before, it has the SD card slot, so it is expandable. Something you can't say about the iPhone 12, which we're actually using right now to film the, uh, the, the BlackBerry. People were complaining about our potato cam in the last episode. It was a GoPro and it was no good. Okay, it is, it's updating, but it's doing so in very low light. It says, this is taking so much power. If I keep the screen on, I'll die. And that's what it's like to be a BlackBerry. All right, let's play some PUBG and we're gonna dominate those bitches because we've got the full freaking keyboard here plus mouse support all inbuilt. So we're gonna kick some butts. And this screen, by the way, is like 1440p. It's beyond 10, it's, it's beyond HD definition. It's, it's pretty similar to the, to the latest iPhones in um, pixels per inch. Checking on PUBG, oh, install. We might be in luck. Here's the progress meter. It's made it up, almost up the, to the K. Will it download? Find out soon. We'll just leave that. To, to, to stew on that. We do have a browser. It can actually load some websites, except sometimes some websites, the BlackBerry tries to be so secure that it won't let you check things out. So let's just look up shoes. Okay, so let's try wsw.com. And it says denied. <laughs> it says, what the heck are you on? A BlackBerry? You don't have permission. I'm sorry, BlackBerry, just hands off all right nike.com can we get nike.com all right so nike will take anyone's money fair enough and target will have us as well as you can see it is a bit hit and miss documents you got everything you could want word excel powerpoint what can do that aside from every other phone and look at these animations just like that beautiful beautiful okay thank you um powerpoint Here's our documents. Let's try out this keyboard. Hello there. How are you? And there's your question mark. And I am a Tucker man. It knew it. Well done, Blackberry. It assumed my gender. Cause it's from the year 1945. All right, cool. Maps, again, this doesn't work. Blackberry maps, it didn't work that great when it, it was fully operational. Remember the notes app? One of my favorite notes apps because you can of course have a text in your note, but you can just as easily record a little message for it too. Record a little message for it too. And in that one note, you have your text and your audio. Ah, which is so good actually. I wrote some videos doing that because I'd write a bit of the script. And if there was a particular way I wanted to say something or if it was a song, I could just record the audio. Heck of a thing to export though. Oh my God, PUBG Mobile has just installed. Tell me this works. Elite gamers, this is what you need. None of that ROG phone bullshit. You need a passport to get past PUBG. It's loading. It is actually working. Freaking hell. Never in my wildest dreams did I think PUBG Mobile would actually work. <laughs> the Unreal Engine works on the BlackBerry Passport. This is a gaming machine. You just gotta start it running the day before. Oh, unfortunately PUBG Mobile has stopped. That is so sad. Press F. Press F in the comments. I'm gonna hit F right now. That's for respect. I hit F for respect. Let's wipe away those tears. Oh, and the phone is a little bit warm now. <laughs> it found that installing that was kind of intense. Let's just see what else we have here. Music. You can load up your, your music onto this. I don't have any on here, but you can actually have the radio if you plug in some headphones. This is a classic phone technique because it uses the the wire in the headphones as an antenna. And here are all the amazing Romanian stations. Let's have a little listen to 102.5. Tell me in the comments what they're saying. Story maker, this is what I use to create an entire YouTube video uh, filmed and edited on the Blackberry Classic. Uh, check it out if, if you wanna have a look. The clock, of course, it's analog. This was made back in the 70s, guaranteed. Quite a nice looking weather app. So this is all still functional. Facebook does just take you to the website. It says, look, can't be bothered. And I did try to log in through this and it said my password was incorrect. I don't know whether that is because the BlackBerry is too old and it won't run it, or maybe I'm not old enough 
to use Facebook. Twitter, I wonder if Twitter still works. Ah, yeah, your device is not connected to a network. Okay, Blackberry Blend, <laughs> it doesn't blend anymore. Did they ever do an episode of Will It Blend, Blackberry? But yeah, that, that doesn't work on a modern software. It's like a syncing software. Your calculator, oh, you can actually use the letters C, F, Ah, cool. Evernote actually does work, which is very stupendous because it can do what the inbuilt Notes app can do, but it also has the advantage of syncing with Evernote servers so that you can actually access it off the BlackBerry in case, in case it blows out. Box and Dropbox no longer work. Smart tags, I don't even know what is smart tags. Scan a barcode. I wonder if you could scan an Apple tag. I wonder if that would work. Is that what those things are called? Assistant, how long will it take to install PUBG on this phone? Yes, unfortunately, BlackBerry Assistant won't be assisting anyone anytime soon. Calls do work, I can confirm, unless you're in America. If you're in America, this might not even connect to your phone service provider, which is a shame. Oh, why did it take us this long to get to the camera? All right, let's have a look. <laughs> One thing that did manage to install, I got this from the, their website, is the Telegram app. And you can actually send messages, you can send texts and, and pictures. The slight problems is that you might not always get your notifications. They're sometimes delayed or not at all. You can only send one photo at a time. And when people send you photos, then they might not actually uh, download. So there's some slight problems with, with the messaging app, but surprisingly, it does work really good with video calls. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. And there's the Kito. There's one of the Kito 2.0s. So this, this is brilliant. But that's not enough. I wanna be an elite gamer. So let's try it one more time. PUBG on the BlackBerry Passport. Will it work? No. Oh, well, that is the BlackBerry Passport. Get one today at your local Romanian secondhand shop. If you don't wanna do anything too fancy on it. If you wanna use it like a dumb phone that takes really good notes, and very bad photos, then I highly recommend the BlackBerry Passport. It's such good hardware. It's such a shame that the software got left behind. Why didn't you make a BlackBerry app? I'm looking at you, Ronald McDonald. Oh, well. That is the BlackBerry Passport. Get one if you want. I'm Sam Tucker. Stay funky, everyone. Sam Time signing off. Subscribe today. Yeah. Oh, that's classic Romanian radio. <laughs> Funk it down. Look at that, the size of a passport. And not oh, bad, bad, just a stick. <laughs> Look at that. Look, just, oh, oh, PUBG, PUBG. Okay, it looks like it's about halfway through. I am starting to regret this whole uh, situation. But that's all right, let's just see how it plays out.